Also at this hour on We on Dispatch, Israel Prime Minister Yair Lapid arrived in, Japan, in, Germa, in Germany excuse me for that, on Sunday. This comes as part of his latest diplomatic effort to persuade Western powers to forego their nuclear deal with Iran. Amid this, Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesman asked the IAEA not to yield to Israel's pressure over Tehran's nuclear activities. He also said that Iran is ready to continue its cooperation with the International Atomic Energy Agency. This also comes as the IAEA's Board of Governors are set to meet today. The nuclear deal has been stagnant since former U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew in 2018. He also imposed more sanctions on Iran. There have been efforts to restore the agreement since 2021. However, last month's efforts at restoration have been slowed down after Germany, France and Britain raised concerns about Iran's sincerity in restoring the deal. Prior to his visit, Lapid had thanked the three countries for the strong position in the matter. An Israeli official also said that they did not expect a deal renewal before November. Germany, France and Britain said that Iran was escalating its nuclear program beyond justification. Meanwhile, Iran slammed the comments and called them unconstructive. Lapid is scheduled to meet Chancellor Olaf Scholz along with German Foreign Minister and President before returning to Israel later today. Israel has been opposed to the revival of the 2015 accord. The Iran nuclear deal was signed in 2015 by Iran and several world powers including the United States, the United Kingdom, Russia, France, China, Germany and the European Union. According to this framework, Iran would redesign and reduce its nuclear facilities they will also accept the additional protocol in order to lift related economic sanctions this would free up billions of dollars in oil revenue and frozen assets israel feels that iran would use revenue from sanctions relief to bolster allied groups capable of attacking israel last month the european union put forward a final draft of the agreement the union acts as the mediator of the nuclear talks Iran and the United States then took turns to respond to the text. However, Washington said that Tehran's reply was a step backwards. And for more on this, we were earlier joined by our correspondent, Jody Cohen, from Ranana. Israeli envoy Ron Prosa said that Germany, which is the largest country in Europe, is Israel's most important ally after the United States. Germany's foreign office also called ties with Israel a cornerstone of German foreign policy. PM Lapid's trip is seeking to emphasize the deep strategic and historic relationship between the two countries. On the agenda is likely to be Germany's changing relationship with Russia, arms sales for Ukraine and a strategic, economic and security cooperation agreement between Germany and Israel. They'll also be seeking to coordinate positions on the Iran nuclear deal. And in the meantime, Israel is continuing its diplomatic activity on that front with the US, with Defense Minister Gantz there again this week. This is Jody Cohen for We On, World As One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.